It's almost over. It's almost over. Keep it together. Keep it together. It's almost over. Peanut. Welcome back to New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. What are we doing, UDJ? Well, uh, this is a uh, this is the calm before the storm. Not only do we have some bromides to get, just 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 a couple. We've got some important scenes, and today, well. Let's just say today's going to be a very important episode. Okay. But we'll get to that. That's the second half of this episode. The first half is just clearing up the rest of the scenes around here and maybe getting an extra collectible or two. Okay. So we got another bromide from Komachi. That's good. And now we got to have this scene with Anastasia. Ah, uh, hello, darling. Are we still... I forgot she was wearing that. <laughs> Oops. Right, we're doing this whole thing. We're, oh, yep, yep, it's about to be a tough battle. Are we all ready? It's, it's the... It's the calm before the storm. I'm glad you decided to dress as an Arabian knight, Anastasia. You're keeping it cash, just like me. Dance. Uh, okay. I would love to! Ballroom? I was just thinking, should we do ballroom, tap, flash dance? What do you want to do, Anastasia? I'm, yeah. I'm very flexible. Proceed to dance. Dad's ready to ballroom dancing. You know, I never properly learned how to ballroom dance. It made it very awkward for my first dance in, uh, I believe it was uh, Freshman Homecoming? Yeah, that's a point in my life I never want to turn back to. Well, high school? Uh, no. I wouldn't mind reliving high school, change a couple things, still be in a friendship with you. See, I didn't know friendship... Uh, uh, friendship. But I didn't know freshman you. <laughs> well, that's true. I, did, I didn't know friendship <laughs> until you showed up. Yay! I'm a true friend! <laughs> but I, I never, I never knew freshman you. Maybe if I did, we wouldn't be friends. Nah, it's it was more just like it, a, a lot of high schoolers come into their own around junior senior year. You know, you start to become the person you're going to be for the rest of your life. Uh, freshman me was very reserved, not very talkative. But if you got to talking with me, then I would, you know, jibber jabber on with whatever topic he had. Then some loud asshole showed up one day. It was perfect! We bonded over video games, it was great! God, can you believe we were in high school 35 years ago? That's just nuts! Yeah, I mean, I'm <laughs> celebrating my 65th birthday next week. <laughs> I was hoping you could do the quick math. Oh, hey, oh. what did we get? We got a bromide! Yes! Who we got? It's us again! Uh, oh. Who took that candid shot? Who's I don't know. <laughs> might, might have been a dashboard cam. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just in case we get pulled over in our, uh, in our mech. God, how would that even work? Like, is the officer gonna say, hey, you know how fast you were going back there? It's like, sorry, sir, I was slaying demons. Oh, hi, Hiromi. Oh, yeah, you exist. This is where we basically gawk and go, Whoa, I can't believe you were a secret agent the whole time, and not just some overly talkative dessert salesman. God, you could land a plane on her eyes. Look how big they are. God, that is anime huge. Then yeah, marry me to make up for it? What? You know, if it didn't sour our relationships, some of these answers are actually really funny. 
that, I, but I know they're going to react. Well, even like some of the good uh, responses you think would be would be what would be good. They just misconstrue and take out of context, and then they get mad at you. You know, I am kind of glad that some of the responses are just like blatantly terrible, like that "marry me" line. Like that's obviously the wrong one, but. It, if this were like your Dragon Age or your Mass Effect, it could go like far beyond the stars of what he was actually trying to say. So I've been playing a lot of Saints Row 4 lately. Yes. I've played all four Saints Rows and this is the best one. This is the one I'm actually actively playing and actually enjoy a lot. The other three just never really... just didn't grab me all the way. But with this fourth one, it is so goddamn insane. So goddamn funny. Like, uh, there's like a hub world where all your, uh, all your sidekicks and friends hang out in. And you can either talk to them to get more information on side quests, or romance them and have sex with them right then and there. <laughs> From like... Like, literally, literally, one character's like, hey, wanna fuck? And she's like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> guys, <laughs> fade away. And God, Jesus, you don't even need a dialogue tree or anything. It's just like, hey, you, me, caught, let's go. All right, time for Hatsuho to get a little pep talk. It's like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, and yeah, you pushing yourself too hard. Hey, Hatsuho, you, me, caught, let's go. Yeah, actually, question. I, ha I have a question too, but you first. Uh, okay. If this game was as blatant as Saints Row 4, would you find it any more interesting? What do you mean by blatant? Uh, s such as like, you know, hey, let's fuck. I know we just met, but you know, let's go. If so, see that, that's just one of many jokes that I find hilarious in Saints Row 4. I mean, for a, for a romance game like this, all of a sudden there's just no build-up and they have What's sex, that just wouldn't, it wouldn't be good. Okay. If, if they but I, like, but I like this scene! Something uh, good's happening! Yay! It's alright, come before the storm, we can do this. Oh, wait, is our back turned? Yes. Yes! Oh, I love these. Hurry up and pan up. Yeah, I'm eating all of this up. It's just little moments like this that keep me going. It's like, it, maybe it could... Ugh. Yes! I mean, it's too late to change my mind now, but in that first playthrough. Oh, God, I love this. Picture perfect. I love scenes like these. Yeah, it would be picture perfect, but this brings me to my, to my question, which is, we're in an airship, right? The, I mean... <laughs> The, 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 the theater oh, yeah. is suspended in the air and yeah. moving forward. You know, so wouldn't this be like a... <laughs> hair flying everywhere. You know, it's just can't get... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I'm really afraid right now! What? what? I said I'm really scared! I can't keep shaking! The entire place just starts rumbling. We're hitting some turbulence! <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I'd love to do some banking! <laughs> You said your dog's is aching? What? No, your hair is not flaking! <laughs> As we're in the courtyard, we just see Sakura get blown away by the wind. It's like, oh, there she goes! Oh, well. You're a comfy captain, huh? Hell yeah, this is what we get for keeping it cash, dude. Ah, you ain't no wimp. God, you called it when you said Hatsuho was the best. I know, right? But the game doesn't think so. Well, I think so. But isn't that all that matters? Yeah. Honestly, like, despite what ending they give me, I'm still gonna go, like, Hatsuho Kamiyama forever. That is my OTP. Right, I think we've done all the needs of- Oh, wait, nope, there's a scene in the bath. 
Oh, wow. Imagine that. Let's go do it. Yeah, I've uh, come to realization about all these bath scenes. Mm -hmm. I've been going the boring route. Mm -hmm. the, the gentleman's route. As you do. As as anybody would do. I mean, you live in a place where that is mostly all women. Mm -hmm. The only man is the only man in the group is uh, Ragey, so you're the only two men. But and you gotta you gotta have your respect. You can't you, you you gotta make sure that people know when you're bathing. You gotta not walk in on people. It's all good. But what? Hatsuho's like, hey, let's all pop. Let's all hop in together. Let's go. What? Yes. Everybody else is in there. Yes. If you say it, it's okay. Well, that sounds like consent to me. Uh, yeah, what's the big deal? Finally! <laughs> we're all adults, for God's sake! It's time... Well, no, we're not, but... Well, oh, okay. Uh, we're almost adults. If we're, if we're old enough to die for our country, we're old enough to bathe together, so let's right. do it. And we get kicked out immediately. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. We're Do doing it. it! Yes! She said it was okay! I didn't think you would actually take that seriously, Baka, and then you get kicked out. Oh my god, right. what? We've all become so close as a family. Uh... Now we can all platonically bathe one another. Well, at least take off the... the hoodie, please. No time to act like a cherry boy, Kamiyama. Come on. Full man, full speed ahead. No, oh, come on, dude. You're ripped. Get in there. I don't think I would have gone completely naked, but... No, no, you at least gotta get the towel. No Starkers yet. <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, you got me. If you would believe it, <laughs> this does not create any negative points between anybody. <laughs> most of the time when you walk in on somebody, it creates a, a negative, uh, you know, well, most of the time. Anastasia kind of likes it, but... This is, this is one of the rare times where nothing bad happens if you walk in on someone in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! Oh, Soccer Wars, you got me! <laughs> Don't look at my junk! Oh, that is perfect! See, why didn't we have more humor like that? Well, at least now I have nothing more to hide from them. Yeah, you gals have seen everything, so... Now we can go into battle with no regrets. You think, though, at some point, somebody would have said, clean, right? I mean, Hatsuho literally said, we're gonna hop in together. Hop in to clean? Nobody says that! <laughs> oh, come on, it added to the joke. That was really funny. Well, whatever. After that, uh, harrowingly embarrassing moment, <laughs> let's get ready for the mission. Now, uh, we, we about to get into a big plot bomb? Uh, well, maybe um, in a, in a little bit. Okay. Right now, we're, right now we're gonna get to why this is so important. Okay. It's our final briefing. So in short, Genon, who is the guy without a face, who is actually pres the president, mm -hmm. stolen the Imperial Sword, used it to open Shadow Tokyo, 
And we gotta stop him from doing that. And we need to form Sakura into a blade to help close the seal or something about Dark Tokyo, but Sakura, well, you're... Well, th that's my first option, but apparently majority rules is that we're gonna try and avoid doing that. But I want to turn Sakura into a sword. It'd be funny. It would be funny. We could use it to, like, you know... To, I, I, I can use it to scrape the dead skin off my feet. We, we could form that into, like, the new isekai manga that everyone wants to read. Like, I woke up as a sword! What am I going to do now?! I woke up as a sword in another world in Dark Tokyo to help free the people. And whenever someone uses a whetstone on me, I become stronger. Oh, my favorite manga slash anime adaptation. Yeah, but it's got like some ridiculous uh, abbreviation like... Fast Sword. Boy Sequoi! <laughs> woke, woke Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Sakura, I didn't so, know you were into, uh... <laughs> Never mind. We're gonna need to find a vice captain. What? We need... We need to select a vice captain. Hmm. Someone who will carry on the mission if something were to happen to us. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. So you but get to But in pick. layman's terms... This is how you lock in your ending. Oh, this. cool! If you've got enough trust with everybody, which we have, they will have a heart over them, and you can decide who will be your uh, right-hand man, basically. And That's... whoever you choose oh. is whoever's ending you will be locked into. Oh. So, uh, yeah, obviously. No, wait. No, no. You're throwing me for a loop. So right here is the best place to save. Yes. Are we going to be looking at all of them, or just the specific ones you want to show? It is my intention to show everybody's ending. Okay. Just to show them off. So I think it's obvious who we're going for, right? Uh, yes. I mean, it's it's clear. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Let me go to the best girl. Sakura! Not you! <laughs> I just uh. want to see the pain in her eyes <laughs> as I walk over to her, whirl around, and then the hurt feeling in her eyes as I go and say, Hatsuho, you will be my deputy captain. <laughs> Later, sword girl. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll polish you every week. How are you supposed to be my second in command? You're gonna be a blade, girl. You can't even command your own life! Yes, ma'am, Deputy Captain Hatsuho. Hatsuho will be our Deputy Captain. Just to see the hurt in Sakura's eyes. You know, bitter irony would state that as soon as we leave this office area, you know, after the briefing, Hatsuho trips and breaks her ankle and we need a new Vice Captain. <laughs> The, I, I can I can tell the immense disappointment in her actions. Well, Sakura is kind of treating it like she just became prom queen. She doesn't realize the other connotations this has. You're the best fit for the role. You're the best. Around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You've got immense spirit strength. You've got a hammer that creates fire tornadoes. You've got this... this burning, fiery passion. That will keep everybody motivated and make sure that we succeed in our mission. And I might want to doink you a little, but that's beside the point. You know, I kind of wanted the option to have like a zero escape style selection where you you use a uh, Russian roulette technique to see who becomes your deputy captain. All right, I got five bullets in this chamber and whoever it clicks on will be Me my first. deputy captain. Me first. 
So now the battleship roars to life and heads towards the stadium. So how do you feel right now? Feeling good, right? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been pretty good. We, we had a good laugh. We had a nice moment with Hatsuho. We've locked into our ending, which will be Hatsuho's. And we're about to make our advance. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. So, uh, you mentioned that this was an important episode, and now I see why. Uh, for some reason, when you... Well, uh, I'm taking all this in first before I mention something, but, uh, basically you told me the episode coming up was extremely important, and, uh, I had a dream about it, about what I thought was, quote-unquote, extremely important. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, for some reason, my mind immediately went to Kamiyama dies immediately, and then Arthur takes over, and that's who you play the rest of the game as. Why would they do that? I don't fucking know. That's how my brain worked in Dreamland. I was like, oh, dude, that's a plot twist nobody would have ever seen coming. Wow! It's moronic. I know! <laughs> that's why it made no sense! I was like, wow, Arthur, the person with like three voice lines just all of a sudden comes out of the woodwork and like all right girls i'm taking over uh i care if we come crashing down to the stadium in, in fact shouldn't we like be in our mech suits helping out because i know in the other soccer wars game we would be out and doing that right now we would you know the first part of the battle would be us in our in our little airplanes going around killing things and then hey, the second half would be yeah. us landing and then taking care of the, the monster of the week. Oh, that's right. We never go into but all no, range But now here he is. Hey, guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, uh, hello. Son of drop and say hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, heard you chose a vice captain. Mind if I take her? <laughs> he, he's basically here to, to get in our heads and psych us out. He looks like a spirit from NG. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, all right, I, I know how to do this. Uh, okay, so we take the paper clip, we combine it with the teddy bear, and then we throw it, and, and then we throw it at him, and then use the magnet to make it come back, and then that'll make him crazy, and then that's when we splash the orange juice on him. Yes, yes, and then you, you know the teddy bear was. Uh, very synonymous with how he grew up, you know, Teddy Bear was the only friend, so that's why we have to, you know, attract him closer to us, and then he just hates Sunny D. Now, if you want to, uh, eradicate him, you need to use the ballpoint pen and write, I love mommy, on his palm. Oh, right, 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 but right, if you right, want, right. But if you want the good ending to purify him, you need to write, I love daddy, in his right palm. Uh, oh... See, I never got the true ending of this NG spin-off, so I'm glad you're here to point me in that in the correct direction. Yes, the NG spin-off, where it actually does mean no good. Best part is, because we chose our uh, vice captain, because we did the daddy quest line, Hatsuho's the only one that survives. If you did the eradication, everyone dies. So, now we're going to be talking about all of our friends from the previous soccer awards. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Like the good ones? Shadow Tokyo is open, which means the, the way is open for all of our friends, but also for all the demons. Mm-hmm. So if Sumire gives up in her pursuit, then she can bring back all her friends, and then Shadow Tokyo will still be around, so... I think that'd be a good idea, actually. So we can rally all the other combat reviews from years past, they'll know how to deal with the demons, so we can all have a unified assault between, what, five or six different Imperial rev combat reviews to take down the demons. But I'm apparently thinking that's that, that's apparently a wrong way to think. Well, that includes bringing back like 20 different actors, and we don't have the budget for that, man. Duh, you're right. 
Darn it, and we just reached our deadline. Is You know what? Scrap that plot line. Let's go ahead and have them all stay in Shadow Tokyo. And we'll just have this combat review take out the big bad. Yeah, basically. That's so sad. That could have been awesome. God, the smell coming off of that guy must be like a mixture of garlic, onion, and toxic waste. Burning toxic waste. Ugh. It's like, hmm, yes, the sweet scent of burning acid and a, and a garbage fire. She so won't have to worry about Tokyo's safety, even though that no one's around to protect it. Even though she's apparently not very good at it if Shanghai has to come in and do all of her work for her! But they'd never forgive me for surrendering the city. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. Do you think it's hard to eat as that guy? Because his mouth is like on his right side. Like, it's a giant gaping mouth hole with three lights. Well, it's like the dead lights. He doesn't really but eat food, he eats people's fear. See, I, I was about to go like, there are four lights, but there aren't, and now it's just ruined. Oh, poof. This is melodic. I talked to the bad man, and now I'm exhausted. Smoking like a true flower division heroine as she abandons all of her friends because they said it's okay. <sighs> like, I'm- t like, there's gotta be some way where we can eradicate Shadow Tokyo and get all of our friends back. But this game seems very intent on the fact that, nope, we're gonna leave them in there because that's what they wanted! So, what do you think the news outlets are reporting on right now? And how has, like, America, G Germany, the United Kingdom, how are they not hearing about this and sending their combat reviews? Well, we don't have any more combat reviews. Technically, we should be, uh, we should be... Actually, I don't know how that works. Because the company who was disbanding all these combat reviews now has the one combat review in Berlin. So that's, that's, the, that's the one unified one. But everybody else is out of commission somehow, including us. But we're not. But I guess, I guess they got cancelled when he re revealed his hand and became the evil bad guy. I... Mm -hmm. For the life of no, me, I okay. don't know. Okay, see, I thought they abandoned the Berlin plotline, and that's why we haven't seen them in, like, two whole chapters. Yeah, we'll be fighting in the next episode. Oh, good. I was hoping for a quick and easy fight. But, but here's my point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, first of all, you know, big old, big old fuck off garage. Uh, and then, who shows up? But the other combat reviews. Oh my god! How do you still have those mechs? I would have thought they'd been taken away from you a long time ago. Wow! Imagine that. The other people who are now part of our review have finally decided to wake up and go, "Oh yeah, demons are attacking. We should probably deal with that." It's almost like the plotline about combat reviews being disbanded after losing the games was completely fucking pointless. Oh hey, it's it's uh the uh Britain's combat review. I I bet you anything. Oh hey, look, I called it. Yeah. Now, <laughs> where was this technique when they were fighting us? Oh, they're going down! <laughs> well, that was easy! Thanks for being our shield! <laughs> it's easier to take down the actual game than they are in real life. I'm just thinking Arthur comes up and he's just like, I can take him, and he just stands there and takes the missiles. He literally could take them. Did he always have red glowy eyes? <laughs> was that always a thing? Well, oh, Jesus! <laughs> You know, oh, I decided to, you know, go Super Arthur for you. There you go, guys. Go ahead through. I guess we'll just die now. 
<laughs> oh my god, get out of here with this. Look, I can, I can take a cliche or two if they just weren't so fucking lame! This game oh. is lame, man! Well, I'm just wondering, you know, they didn't even have a discussion to- <laughs> well, I, guess, I guess that'll work. Oops. It's effective. <laughs> They didn't even plan that, it just kind of happened. It's like, ah, oh, shit, ma'am, we just ran into the side of Shadow Tokyo. Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> this game's killing me, man. It's so stupid. Oh, uh, but I, I will say it's kind of getting into so bad it's good territory for me. Well, I, I remind you, there are still several dips to take before we're done. Hey, that's okay. At least for these, like, animated bits, this is the so bad it's good thing. Like, the amount of anime radiating from these scenes is... is palpable. I can feel the tumors growing. Anime! They're injected! Ka they're, they're little kawaii tumors with, like, sweat drops and little angry marks and all that. Oh, pop the uwu boils. Ugh. So, we check our team status because we have locked into an ending! <gasps> oh! Hatsuho is now with the center yes! stage! That's my girl! The yes! way it should be! Alright! Plus! Sumira is now here, which means... Oh, fucking finally. Everybody's uh, here! Yo, congrats! Everybody is here! Alright. Wait, that wow. was a bronze. How was that a bronze? It's just... If, if you impress Magareth enough, then yeah, it's not that big one. So, next okay. time on Soccer Wars... <laughs> We're gonna get into the combat of chapter 7, because after chapter 7 is one final chapter. We're getting so close to the end, I can taste it! It doesn't taste very good. Yeah.